Well, again, a team effort, just uh, you know, just pulling for each other, coming up with uh, big stops, uh, you know, just uh, grinding it out. Just really, uh, uh, we gave everything we had out there, and, uh, and it was a good, good quality win for us. What happened on that final play? It looked like you and Dwight both slid over to try to get in Conley's face and disrupt the shot. Yeah, we're trying to both to contest. I know Dwight will always try to go contest, and he will get higher than I than I will. Uh, but I just try to put my body in there too, uh, just make it make it difficult, make it contested for for uh, for Mike Conley. Your brother did a lot of playmaking. You were able to limit his field goal attempts just by staying close. And you know, we got a little shot with the elbow. That's not common with the Casal brothers. I know you guys are very close. We are close, but we were still we were still competitive, and you know you compete, you play a physical game, and and uh, and, and stuff like that happens sometimes. But uh, I think he played well. You know, he distributed, as you say, he's, that's what he does for for the, for his team, and um, so yeah, it's a pretty good game for him. Without stating the obvious, how important is is it to hold on to a win like this? Utah won again. You kind of maintain that one game in the loss column on him. It's important. It's important. Every game is important. Uh, we got six to go, and uh, every game is, is matters and it's meaningful uh, because you know, we lose, Utah wins, we're out uh, basically. So, uh, so well, we just got to go one game at a time. Continue to play with the same intensity that we have been playing, and uh, and especially defensively. I think that that's the main the main difference. Can you talk about your offensive performance tonight? You had a very oh, standing. productive game. Outstanding, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, you know, I just I just took what the defense gave me. Uh, and Kobe made uh, made plays uh, for, for for me and for others, trying to look for me in the gap and this, and uh, after pick and roll, so uh, I was able to knock down a couple of shots. Um, Get in the lane, make plays for others, which I think is, is also very important. Uh, got in post a little bit in the first half, uh, not so much in the second. Um, so overall, uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, game. I'm, I'm happy with it. Hey, where are you at physically right now? You seem to be in getting, getting better <clears throat> conditioning, but is the foot still affecting yeah. you a little bit? Yeah, especially the, uh, by the end of the games. Yeah, it's just uh, you get it's, it, wore, it wears itself out a little bit and it gets sore. Uh, but you know, fight through it. Uh, I already know it's going to be that way. Some nights it's going to feel a little better. Some nights it's going to feel a little worse. And I just got to fight through it because, uh, you know, like I said, we have uh, only a few games left, and uh, we want to make a good run here. What do you make of Kobe's play? Again, not sitting out much. Seemed like he was mm -hmm. really, really tired by the end of this one, as one would expect. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to see him uh, be a little less aggressive uh, early on and be more aggressive later in the game. Um, because uh, otherwise, he needs his legs to be effective. As, with the amount of minutes that he has been playing lately, uh, you know it's normal that he's tired at the end of the games. So, I mean, he's just uh, playing playing a lot of minutes. So uh, uh, I already said it two games ago that I was concerned about it. Uh, but he's the best at making plays on the stretch. That's why he's got the ball in his hands. And um, so we we need him to we count on those plays, especially on on close games like this one.